Hello guys, Alex J. Audios here. Um, I'm hoping that this video is going to be longer than the rest of mine because I wrote a script out and um, it's supposed to be longer than the ones I've been doing recently. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Also thank you for 1060 subscribers. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just get to the video now. Hey, listener, Bakugo says to you as you are folding the laundry. Yes, Bakugo, you replied. What do you want for dinner? You responded with that you wanted your favorite dish for dinner tonight. That sounds good, I guess. I don't think we have everything for it, though. Can you check? You said... He said as you look through the pantries, as, she, as you look through the pantry, the freezer, and the fridge to look for the ingredients needed for the dish. We only have a few things here for it. You told Bakugo as he got the keys to the car and said, come on extra, we're going to the grocery store. You followed him outside to the car and he opened the passenger door for you to get in. You good extra? He asked, since he knew that you had a tendency to faint after doing a certain amount of work a day. I'm okay, Bakugo, you said to assure him that you were doing okay, even though you felt a little dizzy. But you didn't want him to worry over something so minor that probably wouldn't mean anything later. As long as you're okay to go, I guess we can hit the road, he said as he shut the passenger side door and headed over to the driver's side and got in. Let's go get some ingredients, then, he said as he sped out of the driveway like he always does, and that never ceases to scare you every single time. How do you keep letting that scare you, listener? You play punched him, telling him that it was perfectly normal to be scared in that situation. Yeah, yeah, keep saying that to yourself, listener, he said, giggling a little bit to himself. He stopped giggling when you guys finally arrived at the supermarket. You still feeling okay after that, listener? He looked over at you for confirmation that you were still doing okay after the ride. Yeah, I'm still doing okay, I promise. You told Bakugo, even though you have felt even more dizzy than whenever you guys left the house. Bakugo could tell that you were not doing so great and that you could faint. It shouldn't take me too long in there, so you can stay in here while I go inside the store, listener, he said as he went to the supermarket. About 30 minutes pass until he comes back with a bunch of bags in hand. So you were going to get out of the car to help him, before, but before you could, Bakugo yelled at you, Sit down. I got this. Just stay seated, you extra. You listened to him and sat back down and responded with, I'm sorry, Bakugo. I didn't think that would make you angry. Bakugo froze up, not knowing what to say to you. Um, I didn't mean it that way, listener. I'm sorry. He didn't speak another word while putting the groceries into the car. As he got into the driver's seat, you said to him, Please don't be upset, Bakugo. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. You put your hand on his upper thigh. He looked over at you. But I hurt your feelings. You told him that it was okay. As he argued back, you told him that you needed to stretch your legs real fast. Okay, just please be careful. He said as he got out of the car uh, to help you out. Okay, you responded as you stepped out of the car, but soon you realized that Bakugo's worry was correct as you fell your mind bl as you felt your mind blank as you fainted to the ground. Bakugo hurried to make sure that you that no harm had come to you. Bakugo had frantically frantically googled up what to do in this situation. Once he had found what he needed to do, he did it, hoping that it would work. Please work. Bakugo waited for you to wake up and felt a wave of relief when you finally did. What? Oh, did 
Did I have a fainting spell? Bakugo nodded and spoke. Don't worry. When we get home, I'll make you food and we can watch your favorite movie. You nodded, agreeing that you liked the idea. You guys went home and Bakugo cooked while you sat on the couch watching TV. Your food, listener. Be careful, it's hot, he said as you both ate food and watched TV together. Hello guys, that's the end of the ASMR. Um, I was actually hoping that this would be longer. Um, but now I know um, to write my scripts out a bit longer next time. Um, I hope you guys don't mind how short it is. Um, but I love you guys. If you need anything, you can comment below or you can text me on any of my social media platforms. Have a good day. Love you.